So first of all, early processes in here, you, you know, you've got design, all right? And then you're ordering raw materials, mm -hmm. all right? And then suddenly, then there's um, delivery, all right? And then you've got uh, raw materials inspection, all right? And then you start assembly, all right? And then you've got packing, and then you got delivery, am I right? Something like that, right? All right? And so this all takes time. And then suddenly, I get the impression, maybe I'm wrong, is you get to this stage and you realize, you get to this stage here and you realize, oh, we've only got one or two days left to the deadline. Yes. And but the process from here to here took you um, two weeks or it just took a long time, but there's a lot of uncertainty here because partly this is dependent on uh, designers, which you don't have control over. This is dependent on other suppliers, which you don't have control over. And this is dependent on transportation. And when they get delivered, you don't have control over. You don't have control over all of that. Yes. Right? Am yes. I right? Yes. And so you, you are promising your customer with the assumption that you you know exactly how long this process is going to take. Mm -hmm. But you don't. Yes, I, we, we already negotiated with our customers. And yeah. uh, there will be a period, like um, mostly uh, 30, 35 days for the lead time. Right. But the problem is that as, uh, as we collect all the rare materials, yes. maybe uh, around uh, 25 days. So yeah. the, uh, basically, there are 10 days for us to proceed the mass production. Yes. So if one of the rare materials with problems, yes. so it will delay all the yes. schedule. Yes. yes. Okay. So that gets back to, this is this is your critical part here, your raw materials. Where do you get your raw materials from? Mm -hmm. And then you've got to start thinking about, as I said earlier, you need to maybe apply an 80-20 rule. Okay. What are the 20% of the suppliers that are giving you trouble? Right, and so then you need uh, you need to focus on that twenty percent. So, although those twenty percent can can they be fixed, mm -hmm. or uh, or should they be fired? Okay, fixed or fired. Okay. All right, so either one or the other. Okay? okay, and so for the fixed, okay, then you work with them because you the ones that are fixed are the ones that have the right mindset. Okay, so. In other words, they want to be taught, they want to learn, they want to know how to do better. The ones that fight, they're easy because they think, well, take it or leave it. And they have that attitude. Mm -hmm. All right, you don't want our product? Okay, go somewhere else. Okay, you need to figure out these very quickly and you need to find replacements uh -huh. because you want to work with suppliers that can be fixed. You want to work with suppliers that have the right attitude. So, okay. so you minimize, the aim is to minimize this uncertainty. You cannot zero it but you minimize it. And so that's how you got to, it gets back to supplier management. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Because that's your uncertainty here. You know how to make things. You know how to do this part. That's, and that's fully control. You have full control. You do not have control over this part. But as, uh, as you know that the PCBA, I'm, I'm for the products for Bluetooth earphone. Right. The PCBA is a, uh, the, Daytime for the learned materials for PCBA is 25 days. Okay. And okay. The, the problem is that for the battery, you know, right. the battery, uh, the lead time is around one month. Right. Okay. So if the, the first shipment for the battery from our supply with problem, it means that we need to wait another one month. Okay. So uh, just thinking out of the box here. How, do you have a specific battery design for every product, or it, do you have a generic battery design that could go across a lot of products? It is, uh, I mean, I mean the, the size is we, we can buy from an, another factory. Yes. Not, not the unique one. Right. Yes. Okay. So this is another strategy, and it gets back to when you have lots of SKUs. So you have you, when your your SKUs go up. Um, stop keeping units, in other words, how many different designs you have, mm -hmm. that creates a lot more uncertainty. Especially if you've, the battery is different for every different design, all right? So what has happened in um, the automotive industry is we try to modulize 
components that go into many different designs. Ah, and so you may want to think about, you know, is there a battery that can go into five of your designs, one type of battery? Then you can start to treat that battery as inventory. And then you can actually cut into that lead time that's required because you're buying for five different products that can spread out the risk of not being able to sell those batteries. Uh, and not only ordering the battery when the pro one product gets ordered, you order a whole batch of batteries because you know the probability that you can that one of five products will be ordered in the next month is 80 or 90 percent and so ah so that gets to you can break down the components that are required in the SKUs by having generic uh, gen generic generic components or generic design that go into many different products and not having a specific battery design for every little new product they come up with. So maybe also in this way we can prefer some stocks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Because you just told me, you just told me the two time wasters in your whole process, the PCB and the battery. Now sometimes the PCB has to be to the design because it's every design that has a different functionality, but you may be able to standardize the battery. Oh, okay. So, uh, well, thank you, thank you. Uh, I will also discuss this with our boss. Thank you. Just some ideas, just some ideas, because this is, this, is, uh, this is product design development process here, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, whereas this here, this is supplier management. That's totally different, okay? Mm -hmm. Supply, this is how you manage suppliers. But this is product design. It, two different types of strategy and different approaches. They're not all the same. Okay, so um, it's important that your boss doesn't get them mixed up. They're, okay. they're different. Okay.